My name is Ed Hoponik, and I am a teacher uh, at Davidson Day School. Uh, I teach sixth grade science, sixth grade math, and seventh and eighth grade algebra. What? Symmetry? Symmetry. Symmetrical. Right. You've got the symmetry. Uh, I'm also a professional yo-yo player. I'm a yo-yo demonstrator for uh, SPY, which is a yo-yo manufacturer in Canada. Um, I'm a former North Carolina State yo-yo champion, and I've won uh, a lot of uh, sport division contests uh, at the International Yo-Yo Open, uh, World Yo-Yo Contest, other events. I've been playing yo-yo uh, on and off for the most part since I was nine years old. Uh, that's when I kind of first started learning tricks and, and practicing, you know, to, to when I first realized that you could actually do some progressive and interesting things with the yo-yo. Um, and uh, I just have never really had a good reason to stop. You know. And yet what I want you to do with this, hold it in your hand and compare it with this one, um, right? You know, I recognize that, hey, yo-yos are toys and, you know, they're really fun and kids play with them. Um, what better way to kind of bring them in and, and get them um, uh, interested uh, than giving them a toy and saying, you know, just play with this as you would normally do. And then later on recognize, you know, what's at work there. We, we've used another term to discuss uh, that kind of mass. measurement. We've talked more about mass because mass is the amount of matter that an object takes up. And what's weight? You know, it's, it's unbelievable how many different kinds of, of forces and concepts and principles can be applied to, you know, a really simple spinning toy.